Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Demetrius here again from Obi Pixel. Let's talk about uh, something that I've spent about seven months to nine months building. That's between last year and this year, the beginning of this year. And uh, it's now back in stock again, which is great. And that is my first short novel that I published, although I've written many other stories. My first short novel that I published, which is with regards to dragons. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, and it's the series called Dragons of Etheria, which I wrote a long time ago when I was a young kid, around 18, and obviously I never did anything with those books, I never published them. <laughs> 37 years later, well, fast forward 37 years later, roughly, and uh, sorry, 34 years later, what am I saying? And uh, finally got to finish the stories, I had to reshape them, publish them, and uh, they did very well last year. But the beginning of this year, I released the third book in the series. That's a trilogy. And it did exceptionally well and uh, ran out of stock. So now it's now almost mid through June 2024. And the book will be coming back into stock in the next two weeks. So I just want to let people know that these things are now coming back into stock. I've received my first shipment, which will go out for the back orders that people have been sending out and have been placing on a website. But I will talk about a little bit about the books today just to give you a bit of a rundown those of you who don't know what the story is all about so let's go through the process so book one dragons of etheria which is all about this forgotten pact it's um this whole idea is it's a mystical land of etheria and the young dragon master james discovers an ancient pact that has bound humans and dragons for centuries as, a, as the dark forces rise, okay, he must unite with dragons. The dragons Pyro, Oroki, and Glimmer. Alongside his friends Alicia and Amy to restore the forgotten bond. But in the beginning, Alicia is not who you think she is. And it's quite a disastrous start to the, to the storyline. Quite a dangerous start because Alicia is definitely not one of his friends. I'm not going to give too many spoilers here. So their journey is fraught with challenges, testing their courage, friendship, determination. As they battle against the shadows, they uncover hidden truths and forge unbreakable ties, setting the stage really for the ultimate confrontation between light and darkness. Very cool start to my series. Uh, one of my personal favorites. It's a great book for teenagers. This is the why I wrote them, because I write kids' stories and I write uh, novels for teenagers. And it's a very short story. The book is easy to read. It's 150 pages or so. It's a great amount of ch um, <clears throat> chapters, but it's not something very heavy to read. It's a very simple book to read, and it's great. It's a nice A5. Kids will love it, as in teenagers will love it, and it's a great storyline. Then I moved on to book two which takes these characters to a different level. And book two was Dragons of Etheria, <clears throat> The Awakening Bond. So this bond between humans and dragons grows stronger and stronger now. And James, Alicia and Amy, finally together, and their loyal dragons face new, new perils. The malevolent sorcerer, Malachi, emerges and comes back, threatening the harmony of Etheria. And it sacrifices, the, this book is all about sacrifices that are made, okay? And there are a lot of sacrifices, and love is seriously tested. I love writing stories about friendship, love, honor, respect. Those are very important things to learn when you're a young person. And sacrifices are really made in terms of love, and, they, and, and love is very tested here in this book. As really Alicia and Amy are drawn deeper into conflict, of course. James embraces his role as the Dragon Master, awakening ancient powers within him. The team seeks guidance from the Dragon Council and battles internal and external demons, leading to an epic showdown that will determine the fate of their world. So, great storyline, once again, easy to read, 
teenagers will love this. It's not too complicated. It's got a great set of chapters and it now concentrates around the three uh, protagonists and of course their dragons. Great storyline as well. And of course the trilogy had to be completed. And those first two books were released last year. And this year, by January, February, I released the third book, which is Dragons of Etheria and the Eclipse of Fate. And I wanted to bring all the characters together, all the dragons together, and create a culmination in the storyline. This is the one storyline I had not finished when I was younger as a teenager, which I finally did, and I've now published. So the other two were pretty much complete. I just had to rehash the stories. This one needed a bit of work because I needed to somehow conclude the series. And this is the ultimate in the series because as as the darkness descends upon Etheria, James transforms into the most powerful person that he can be in history, right? The Dragon Master. And with his beloved Alicia and their friends by his side, they confront Malachi in a final climatic battle. Not too many spoilers here. There's a lot more in this book. They struggle between good and evil, especially James, at its peak, and the fate of the two realms really hangs in the balance between the world of Etheria and the dragon world, the magical world. The two realms. And then secrets are unveiled. Sacrifices and more sacrifices are made. And bonds are tested to their limits, to their breaking points. This storyline, the Eclipse of Fate, is a tale of enduring love, unyielding courage, and uh, the timeless legacy of hope, which every person in the world has. As James and his companions fight to protect their world and secure the future of Etheria and, of course, the dragon world. And uh, once again, easy to read, great storyline for teenagers. Uh, I think teenagers will love this. And um, I've got a little excerpt at the back of each one of these, just telling you about the storyline. And i um, quite proud of this one because I wanted to complete the storyline, have it set in such a way that you have, let me just put these three together. You have these three books working together in a storyline, but at the same time, leave it a little open in case in the future, there is a need to move forward, but it's not really necessary. These three are a complete story. And, you know, as you put them all together, that's a very simple little novel to read as a singular novel, if you feel like it. But these are what we call short novels. And uh, it starts off with Dragons of Etheria and the Forgotten Pact, <clears throat> where we get introduced to James and Pyra. It then carries on with Dragons of Etheria and the Awakening Bond, which brings all the characters together in terms of the dragons and the protagonists, Amy, Alicia, James. But there is conflict between Alicia and Amy and conflict between all of them. And this really brings to the forefront Malachi, the sorcerer, who began this whole troublesome journey in the first place, who's working in the shadows. And of course, it culminates in the massive battle, the Eclipse of Fate, Dragons of Etheria, the Eclipse of Fate, where it brings all the characters together and really tests their resolve, tests their love, tests their friendship to the limits, to the breaking points. And it shows how people can overcome adversity and, and hopefully win everything that they've always wished for. And it's a beautiful storyline. It's a great sort of trilogy and I just want to let everybody know it's now going to be back in stock. I will activate the stock in about two weeks time so probably end of June and that'll be available for about four months because all my stock gets available for three to four months and then literally runs out so I'm just letting everybody know. You can still take back orders if you like. You can still do back orders but I just want to let everyone know that yes the books are back in stock again and um, I want to give you a quick little rundown of the storylines and just let you know that um Yep, it's the Dragons of Etheria short stories are back. So thank you for your time. It's Demetrius here again from Obi Pixel and I'm Sunny.